It's been over 100 days since 343 said they're going to provide more transparency to the development of this game. There's a big glitch within the game right now that a lot of people are abusing. I'm going to tell you how to counter said bug and that multiple people have left the grassroots program for Halo Infinite. So do you want to know more? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So this was recently brought up to my attention because it's been over 100 days since 343 said they're going to have provide more transparency to us when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite here. Basically saying that they were talking about how they have a hot fix list that they're going to be working on. Just working down the list, adding more production to the team that kind of showcase like what the team is working on and they said they also are working in a public facing version of this hot list so then we know what's going on with the game and they wanted to do this so then underlined right here is saying a clear and consistent window into the status of hot list working on the game and have a proper timeline and when we could expect fixes to come in and well like i said it's been over 100 days since 343 said they were going to do this and well it still hasn't happened now, from my point of view on this whole thing, it's like, yeah, it would be nice to have this, but this would be such a boring list to have that honestly, like, I don't think people would really care to read through this whole thing until it's actually fixed. Now, I understand you're wanting to know everything that's going on with the development of the game, what's the progress of it, how are things going along with it, and that's very good information to know as well. But a lot of it, honestly, guys, like, some of it's just like bugs that we know that are in the game. We can tell it by playing it and that we just need to kind of wait until it's gonna get fixed. It's not gonna speed up the process of anything more. If anything, it's gonna slow down the process of those bugs getting fixed or having to have a public facing version of this hot list fix that they're working on, which is just gonna be stuff that can be added into the drop pods anyways. Now, will we have like proper time frames and when we could see these bugs getting fixed? I mean, that would be great. Of course, that would be an absolutely moving target because obviously with the development of a video game, things become more complicated surprisingly over time. Of course, this would also help me out when it comes to making videos and information for you guys to kind of know what's going on with the game, what's going to happen, what's going to be up next, what's on the deck, what's going to be fixed. Like, we kind of want to know this stuff because, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be addressed with this game, and we want to know what's going to be happening when that stuff is going to be fixed. But the thing is that, like, it's you can only know so much, you know, and I think it's almost kind of like people wanting to be involved, like, they want to be CC'd in those e development emails between teams, kind of go, like, what's going on with it and stuff like that. And, like, honestly, like, it's just not gonna be more beneficial or anything like that for us to really kind of get that much detail into like what's happening like are you really gonna be reading trillo boards about what's gonna be fixed with halo infinite i've already come to terms that this first year of halo infinite's development and life cycle is just gonna be bug fixes and trying to build up a proper platform for the game to build up off of on top later on in the future seasons. Knowing what needs to be fixed isn't gonna help get it fixed faster. Though knowing what they already know about what bug fixes certainly would help out, I'm sure with their ticket system with the Halo support website. Though I feel like most people don't really bother with the Halo support site a whole lot. They mainly just post clips and complain on Twitter. So the thing is mainly about this whole entire topic is that they said they were gonna do it 100 days ago. Well, he's going to be putting work towards it and we haven't heard anything about that you know public facing hot list anytime soon this could also just be one of the situations where 343 kind of dies a little too soon into making an announcement rather than actually having it planned ready to go when they do announce it but this is what happens when you get such early access and such insight into the development of the game where like stuff like this kind of falls through the cracks because that's how that game development goes that's kind of how jobs in general kind of go as well essentially what i'm saying this would be good to know i'm not bent out of shape that we haven't seen it yet but we definitely want to know what's going on with it so there is currently a major bug that's going right now on the map recharge specifically and then basically causes invulnerability to the people sitting on top of these batteries is what they're called or these pillars it seems to only happen when the pillar is lower since these pillars do move up and down right that apparently if you sit on top of one that's lowered and you crouch down into it, it still reads the geometry as if it's still fully extended. And this is one thing that like people have been pointing out recently on Twitter. This is a very big issue and definitely needs to be addressed because this is like legitimately a 
game breaking bug on this map and 343 is very aware of this bug right now they even replied on twitter and on reddit and i guess we see this we're gonna get working on a fix on this as soon as possible when a fix does come into this i definitely will let you guys know on the channel but i just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening so if you're playing on recharge and you're wondering why is this guy sitting on the batteries and why is he not dying that's the reason why uh also just don't do it it's kind of a dick move just don't do it man like come on let's let's all play fair and have some fun like it's that's the idea is having fun not always about the win right it's about your enjoyment of the game the only way to truly counter this when someone is doing because they're going to come across when people are going to be doing this because you know people like to cheese and take advantage of situations uh the only way you can do it is get it with a melee you can't shoot them so you have to use a melee like a sword gravity hammer or just use your fists that's the only way to really counter it there is currently no time date set when it comes to the fix of this batteries issue on recharge though i could assume that we will see a fix of it relatively soon um though that's just your assumption but since it is so game breaking 343 is usually rather on top of these types of issues that are so directly affecting the gameplay experience but as soon as we do get some actual information i will share with you guys here on the channel but this is my big psa just don't do it i'm not going to be doing it because, you know, I prefer to have fun with my games and not try to cheese them. In some Halo community news, it looks like a lot of people have recently left the Grassroots program. If you guys don't know, it's a program of content creators where basically they kind of like are like a little special group where they use for the help promote the game, essentially. And a few creators have recently left. One being Ishii, he was kind of a montage or streamer player right here. And basically just said that he left Grassroots because he's just not enjoying the game and he can't stand himself to represent a game that he doesn't enjoy so that's the reason why he has left another popular twitch streamer trunks here was also part of the grassroots program just left as well because again science facts that he's just not enjoying the game right now and can't bear himself to represent a game that he truly can't like, say hey you guys should go play this and that's totally honorable and understandable as well both ishii and trunks were saying that they you know have full respect for the game and also as grassroots and people involved with grassroots they just can't bring themselves to do it and also a few days ago another content creator vetoed who is known for his twitch streams and also youtube content recently left as well but signing more personal reasons that he's kind of dealing with his own stuff that he's on on the side nothing really against grassroots or against the game necessarily but of course he did cite that the game he's just been kind of dragging through and not really enjoying it a whole lot so there's been quite a few people that have less left the grassroots program there's also quite a few people within the grassroots program that have definitely been a little afk since the game's launch um, so we just kind of see like what is going to be happening with that program. Is it going to continue? Are they going to be adding more people into it? Now, I couldn't find any information if Tashi and ACS are looking to expand or add more people to the grassroots program in the recent months. I'm pretty sure they've been heads down. They're just trying to get the game running properly before they can start doing the more external things like fun content creator kind of activities. But of course, I'll let you guys know on this channel as soon as we get some actual information about the grassroots program, HCS, and anything Halo related. So if you're new to the channel, missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.